Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Fire Fae Tarot. My name is Jesse. I'll be your reader today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, new subscribers, hopefully, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell down below. And welcome back, my actual subscribers. I love you. I am up to 17 subscribers, it said today. Yes, go me. I am so happy about that. I actually was only hoping to get like five, and I'm, I'm, I exceeded that. So I'm, I'm very proud. Thank you so much. I'm offering a, a new subscriber special. It's going to be um, any reading you want $13.13 .13. go ahead ask me three questions if you want it's up to you I'll go ahead and uh, put the link down below to the website firefaytarot.com all right let's get into it though Virgo 2018 for November what's going on with our Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus let's see what's going on with our Virgos today okay so Virgo 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 Sun Moon Rising and Venus what's going on for your Thanksgiving Virgo everybody ready for Thanksgiving I am ready for some grubbage I'm going to exercise really, really hard this month and be really behaved. So then when I eat that one day of everything for the next four days, it won't be so bad. Okay. All right. Let's cut it and get into it for you guys. What's going on with our Virgos for November 2018? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to see here and understand? What's the clear, concise, and compassionate messages for our Virgos for November 2018? The overall energy of the reading is okay. We have the two of cups in reverse. So maybe there was a love offering that was rejected for you guys, Virgo. Possibly from a Leo because you have the Leo up here if you see the little lion head. Or possibly from a water sign as well because we have the cups here, okay? But normally when this guy is up here like this, this normally means that there was an offering that came in. But when he's in reverse, sadly, that means there was a lot of tension. There was some imbalance. There was a a lot of broken communication so maybe the offering just wasn't accepted okay but we're going to clarify and get into it and we'll pull that so how are you feeling and what's going on with you all right virgo currently right now you are the queen of cups she is somebody who is about her she normally representation as somebody who's alone a widowed possibly um, just depends on how that resonates with you guys. Um, but she's also a very calm, comforted, compassionate person as well, okay? So maybe this emotional offering that you offered out or was wanting to maybe come in or how you're feeling, you're giving, see how she's got her little, her, her chalice there? She's offering it or maybe she's holding back. Maybe you're not, maybe you were holding back, Virgo. We'll get into it though. So what's your current conflict? Currently, right now, you have the seven of rods in the reverse. So, or wands, whatever you prefer to call it. It depends on how it uh, sits with you. I go back and forth on rods and wands, you know what I mean? But somebody's giving up. There, Somebody's confidence has been destroyed in a situation. Somebody's feeling very overwhelmed, possibly. Because when usually it's like this, you're ready for the battle. You're ready for the fight, okay? You know what's coming. And you've got the higher ground. Right now, you're, you ain't got that. You've got lack of confidence in this situation. Maybe this offering that you gave out or maybe the offering that came in, you didn't feel very confident of the situation, okay? So how are you currently feeling about it right now? Um, you're currently the Hierophant in reverse, okay? Maybe you were dealing with the Taurus, okay? Because this is the Taurus, all right? This is his sign, or I mean his card. And normally when he is upright, he is the person who is the leader of men. You see how they're bowing down to him. He is a, a strong and confident and very morale individual. But up here like this, when he's very rebellious, he's very subversive uh, in any type of maybe new approaches. He's not, he's not being... Who he should be is basically, you know what I mean? He's being more deceiving with his word. He's not leading the people as he should, okay? And maybe you're just kind of all out of whack right now, Virgo. Maybe that's why that's you. So what are our past foundations is the Page of Cups. Yeah, maybe the pages are bringing in messages. So maybe when this offering of love came in, maybe it was coming into you and you didn't take it. Okay, because maybe you weren't feeling it was exactly what you needed. Okay, maybe this person or maybe you needed a new approach and you're just kind of not feeling this. Okay, because whoever came in with this offering from the Page of Cups here, guys, is, you know, another water sign possibly could be a Taurus. Okay, could be an earth sign. You never quite really know. All right. 
but with the page of cups here there is a message that came in okay and it wasn't exactly the message that was received very well so what's going on in the recent past with this situation um yeah we have the four um yeah it was coming up this way the five of cups in re um five of cups Okay, somebody's walking away from something. Somebody is done with a certain situation emotional-wise. They don't see the two cups behind them. They don't really care. They're just focused on the three that they lost, okay? Maybe somebody's not letting something go. Is it you, Virgo? Is it the person you're dealing with? It kind of just depends on how this resonates with you guys, okay? Because, yeah, here in the outcome, we have the six of rods in reverse, okay? Okay. He is normally victorious. He is normally on his way. He is normally sending out a message, okay? He is normally, ugh. He is normally, you know, confident. There, there's a lack of confidence again, guys, okay, with this message going on. There's a lot of lack of recognition. Maybe there was some punishment. Or maybe there was punishment coming in, Virgo. Or maybe you're dealing out the punishment because this the, the overall energy is the love and the offering not not going as we had hoped or anticipated. Okay, so where are you currently at with everything right now? Okay, yeah, this popped up and um, it's the Eight of Swords. It's in reverse. Okay. With the Eight of Swords in reverse, normally it's a, a it's not a bad thing, but maybe you're finally um, coming into a new perspective and you're appreciating the newfound freedom because like this, it's bad. Like this, it's actually pretty good. So maybe it was an air sign you were possibly dealing with, Virgo. Kind of depends on how that resonates with you guys. We'll get into the clarifiers here in a minute and we'll see what's going on with our romance and our oracle angels as well, okay? What we don't see coming in, yeah, Maybe you didn't see this ending coming, Virgo, okay? Or maybe whoever it was you were dealing with didn't see the ending coming, okay? Maybe it was a Taurus, okay? Uh, maybe it was a water sign. It just possibly depends. Or maybe it was an, um, an air sign, all right? Because, yeah, or maybe you're just postponing or maybe somebody's postponing an ending here, okay? Because when you have the tower show up, that's usually the universe telling you something's going to end. And if you don't end it, we're going to do it for you is what that usually means when this bad boy is up here like this. But when he's like this, this is there's been a delayed disaster. It hasn't come in yet. So it's coming Virgo okay maybe somebody's you're giving it to somebody or maybe somebody's going to be giving it to you it just depends on how this resonates with you guys okay um let's go ahead and pull our hopes and fears of the situation guys yeah hopefully we're gonna be you know stacking our chips getting our mind right because you're really sad about the situation okay you have the scent of, a, of pentacles okay um in the hopes and fears all right and normally what that means is um, there's a hard work going on. There's diligence. There's a new perspective coming in. That's at least what you're hoping is happening. Maybe going on internally in your head. Because with the swords, it's also something intellectually possibly inside, okay? Maybe you're letting go of old ways of thinking, Virgo. Maybe you're trying to change new paths um, of giving new ways of love. So maybe you stop being rejected for the love offerings that you're giving out, Virgo. Okay? Depends on how this resonates with you. And if you're cross-watching, let me know down below as well. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know what's going on. But yeah, so the overall outcome is somebody's heartbroken about a situation. There's something that ended, okay? Possibly, again, with an air sign since we do have the three of swords here. But it's definitely heartache, okay? Somebody's heartbroken about the situation. Maybe you, Virgo. Maybe them. Maybe they wanted this offering of love for you, from you. And you were just like... I'm I'm good. I, I got enough. Uh, you know what I mean? I've already dealt with this enough. I'm tired of the heartache. I'm tired of the loss. Even though they're trying to come in and offer you this love and you still have these cups back here. Okay? Or maybe you're just content with these. But either which way, this is somebody moving on. Okay? But maybe you're being punished for moving on. Possibly, Virgo. Like I said, depend how it resonates with you at the bottom of the deck is the king of cups in reverse okay so yeah somebody's all out of whack somebody's all out of balance somebody could possibly be overindulging there's a lot of material loss going on a lot of greed maybe the person you were dealing with was this type of energy okay 
we'll pull the clarifiers and see how it resonates and get into our angel decks. Um, I've already shuffled it, but we're going to shuffle it and cut it. I haven't cut it yet. So let's go ahead and cut it. What's our clarifying message for Virgo for November 2018? What's going on with Virgo for Thanksgiving for 2018? Let's get into it, clarifiers. Let's get into it and go. Mm -mm -mm. Get it. Hopefully everybody's going to have a wonderful holiday out there. Let's do it. Let's cut it. All right. Get into the clarifiers here. Let's do this. All right. Clarifying the two of cups. We have the queen of pentacles. Maybe the offering that came in or was hoping to come in is um, possibly from an earth sign. Okay. She is somebody who is about her money. She's creature comfort. She's very financially secure. Okay. Or maybe this was somebody you were offering your love to and they just didn't want it, Virgo. Depends on how this resonates. But it appears that this love offering just didn't go through with possibly an earth sign. Energies, whether it's male or female, that's that's fluid. Okay. Um, but you see, she she was chilling now, okay? So whoever this energy was, or maybe it's you, you're just chilling, and you're okay with not having this offering to love either, Virgo. Maybe you just, you all right with the situation. Like I said, the Queen of Cups is somebody who is usually represented, uh, representational of a widow. So maybe that's what's going on right now. Spirit's telling me to shuffle the clarifying deck. So that tells me we need to get a little bit better it's story. What's going on with you, Virgo? What's going on? Okay. What's going on? Slowly, somebody's about to call. Somebody gonna call me? Everybody calls me when I'm recording. Never when I'm not. Have you ever noticed that? Do you guys have that problem? I'm wondering. What's the one good, good shuffle? Let's really get into this clarifying right now. See, I'm not focusing. Stupid calls. Oop. Justice. Somebody knew we got dealt some justice. Is that what's going on, Virgo? All right, that's why I say he's not feeling all good. Maybe it was a Taurus, like I said. Maybe it's got a Taurus that's got you all out of whack. You gave this love offering. That's what it maybe is feeling like, actually. The love offering that came in or you were wanting from uh, is maybe from a Taurus. Because we have the pentacles, that uh, queen of pentacles that showed up. All right, we're going to do it. All right, now we're going to go ahead. Clarifying our queen of cups is, yeah. All right, this is the moon. So possibly there was some deception found out. There was a choice that was made, Virgo. Okay, depends on how this kind of resonates with you guys right now. You guys let me know, like I shed, uh, said in the link down below. But there was a lot of intuition. There was some maybe unconscious thinking going on, okay? Maybe you're content. Maybe there is... um. Like I said, you're trusting your intuition and you're content with yourself. That's why you're coming up as the Queen of Cups, the energy of, you know what I mean? I'm good. I'm good being alone. It's okay. All right? It's okay, man. We good. We good. Clarifying the Seven of Rods in reverse is the Nine of Swords. So, yeah, this was maybe a swift heartbreak that came in. This is a lot of, this is, somebody's really hurting here, okay? This is somebody, there was a lot of trauma. There was a lot of anxiety. There was a lot of hopelessness going on, okay? And that's clarifying here the Seven of Rods in reverse. So, yeah, somebody was heartbroken over the situation, Virgo. Is it you? Is it them? Maybe it was this earth sign. Did you break somebody's heart, Virgo? Ooh, bad Virgo. Shame, shame. All right, clarifying the uh, Hierophant is the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, maybe this earth sign is walking away. Maybe this is you walking away. You're done with the situation because this is technically how you're feeling currently in the moment, okay? Because, yeah, you offered this new love in possibly to this earth sign, okay? The Taurus or somebody with strong Taurus in their chart. And it just wasn't accepted well. And it just, yeah, you're like, screw this. I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm done. So clarifying the Page of Cups, here we go. I love it. We have the Three of Swords yet again. There was a lot of heartache going on in the past with you guys. Maybe with an emotional offering. Maybe with a, um, possibly with a water sign currently going on. Okay? Depends on how this resonates with you. Five of Cups is the Nine of Rods. Yeah, somebody's done with the situation. You've seen what's coming. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you've you got another fight left in you, Virgo, but you, you really just don't feel like doing it. You're done with the situation. You're walking away from it because, again, we have two sets of nines here on the clarifying deck. Something's definitely coming to an end as you see it right here. I believe this bad boy was actually in the reverse. There was a, you know, a heightened, right? Here, okay? 
So clarifying the six of rods in reverse is, yeah, it was the lovers. So this was um, a situation where maybe there was a love offering, possibly even with the Gemini, because we have swords here, representational of air, 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 air. So maybe it was a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart that just didn't take the offering of love. And maybe somebody's making you suffer because they didn't take the offering of love or you didn't take the offering of love, Virgo. You let me know how that resonates with you guys. So we're going to clarify the Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. So how you feel about it, you're done. Everything's done. Whoever you're dealing with, it's all done. Okay, so maybe this air sign is done. Maybe the foundation you had in the past, maybe you were heartbroken over an air sign. Okay, so maybe that's why you didn't take this offering of love, possibly from the uh, Taurus, the earth sign. Maybe. I don't know. You let me know. Okay, so what's clarifying the tower in reverse is, yeah, the new beginning. Ace of Cups, the new emotional start. Maybe you also don't see there's a new new emotional start coming in with an um, earth sign with a possible Taurus or some strong Taurus in their chart, okay? But what clarifying the um, tower in reverse is the Ace of Cups. So the new emotional offering you don't see coming in possibly is that earth sign or possibly is an air sign or maybe even a gemini okay somebody with strong gemini there's a new offering of love coming in it's just been kind of delayed because you're still walking away from something okay you kind of delaying delaying walking away from something because you kind of maybe just punishing yourself for a go you let me know how's that resonate with you guys so go on ahead we're going to clarify our Seven of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. So, yeah, there was a conflict. There was a fight possibly with an air sign, somebody, or maybe there was a fight internally in your mind, Virgo, um, about the situation currently going on. Um, just depends on how that resonates with you, okay? But that's what I'm picking up. Maybe you also have learned to let go of a lot of way of thinking after having your heart broken by an air sign, maybe. And that's what's going go ahead and bring about the new change and maybe a new offering of love from an earth sign, okay? So clarifying the three of swords and the overall um, outcome of it is, yeah, the page of rods. So pages bring messages yet again. There's going to be a new um, new message coming in, possibly even from somebody um, with a fire sign, somebody coming in uh, possibly pretty quick, okay? So with the page of so uh, rods here, <laughs> There's a lot of freedom. There's a lot of excitement, too, with this heartbreak coming out. So somebody may be coming in with this swift message, and you're 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 going to be walking away and moving on from things, and you're going to be okay with it because you're going to be excited about the newfound freedom that you guys have, Virgo, okay? Or maybe the person that they're you're dealing with is very happy they're free from you. I don't know. You tell me, Virgo. So at the bottom of the deck is the six of swords in reverse. It's just not happened yet. Maybe it's going pretty slow. Maybe you haven't made the decision yet, Virgo, to leave. It's up to you possibly to make this happen. And you're kind of still stuck in stagnation. You're hurting. You're not deciding on what to do. So you're not allowing the new offerings to come in. you got to let go of the old and bring the new in, guys. That's just something, the way energies work. We're going to pull our couple of um, angel oracles, and we're going to go ahead and pull the romances, and we're going to call it done. I'm glad it kind of actually kept pretty lit. I know there's a glare on my glasses, but it's all good. Fire Fate Hero down below is the link, guys. Don't forget to hit me up. I have an email link down there as well. Um, $13.13 .13 for all new subscribers for any reading you guys want, even a specialty one if you want. We can go ahead and do a career or a specialty love about the person you're dealing with and yourself where you pull your energy, their energy, and the combined energy. So you guys just let me know what's going on with that down below. Loving it, loving it, loving it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. Whoops, we're pulling that. See, look at that. We're not going to, that was a big old stack. We'll be here all night. Oh, there we go. Everything's just falling out. Virgo, you need to hear everything under the sun. And that's what you need to hear, guys. <laughs> there it is. All right, there's those two. Our romance angels. What do we need to hear for Virgo? November 2018 for our Thanksgiving for Virgos. For love. It's our romance angels. God. Whoa. 
Everything went everywhere. Holy crap, holy, you need to hear everything. We're going to go ahead and flip that one, and that all fell, and everything fell. It all fell, guys. It's all right. We'll pick it up at the end. I'll, I'll get it. Okay, so what you guys need to hear is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Maybe you need to get off your butt and stop being so stuck to the past, Virgo, so you can go ahead and allow yourself to make this offering maybe to this Taurus sign, this Earth sign that you really want to have maybe this new love with, guys, okay? Because then the second one that came up is, yeah, this is possibly your soulmate. This could be a twin soul, connect, uh, twin flame connection. I don't really like clarifying soulmates too, too much due to the fact that I do feel sometimes soulmates are here to teach us a lesson so maybe the energy that you were dealing with was a soulmate and you learned your lesson so now maybe that you learned your lesson you can go ahead and approach this earth sign with a new perspective and a newfound freedom towards you know per uh, pursuing love or whatever situation or career or whatever however it resonates but I'm thinking it's love love yeah, spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect, and you are ready to soar, okay? So that's one of our messages from our angels, okay? The next one is prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality, Virgo, okay? So, yeah, it's telling you, go ahead and let it go. We understand it hurt the past, okay? You've been uh, given uh, messages of love out, offerings of love. Maybe they weren't all true. And you're walking away from everything. But if you go ahead and um, start spreading your wings and being who you're supposed to be and maybe expressing your love to maybe this earth sign that's around you, you're going to get the offering that you really kind of want. Okay? Stop being so closed off because you want love. Everybody wants love. Right, guys? All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, this is Fire Faith uh, Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell down below. Don't forget to come and check out the Fire Faith Tarot page and get the $13.13 .13 special for all the new subscribers. Yay. Thanks. Bye.